Here I'm going to demonstrate how to use a spreadsheet and Excel solver to solve three nonlinear equations simultaneously. Now the spreadsheet's located at this link in LearnChemE, and a snapshot is shown here. So we're solving three equations. This is the first one, YB times pressure, the second one, and the third one. And the way we're going to solve it is to write the equations like I've indicated in these cells here, where we bring everything to the right side of the equation, so the left side should be zero. So in this cell, we have this equation. In this cell, we have this one. And likewise, in this cell, this one. Now, we want these to be zero. We've guessed values. Our unknowns are in yellow. We guess values. Of course, since they're not the right values, these are not zero. And then what we're going to do is to go into solver and get these as close to zero as we can. So let's look at the spreadsheet to see how we do this. So here's the spreadsheet and what we're going to do is data and solver. You can see it says we're going to set F5 value of zero. That's objective. We have of course two other equations. We're going to use them, write them as constraints. So F6 is zero and F7 is zero and we're changing cells D8 to D10, which are these yellow cells. So if we now hit solve, it quickly finds a solution. Notice now this cell is zero and 10 to minus seven, 10 to minus eight is close enough to zero. And now we have values for our unknowns. We certainly, we solved three equations here. We could have simplified, combined these equations and solve one equation, but there's no advantage to doing that. More likely to make a mistake, and it's much better just to solve the three equations and let the computer do the work.